Los Santos, the city of saints. However, the people within the city are far from being saints. And one group in particular would go as far as calling themselves the Davis Devils. Use the merch of the well-known hockey team, the Dust Devils, to show their affiliation. The team will be supported by the Davis Neighborhood Families, a subset of the family's gang. They can be seen wearing black, white, and gray sports shirts with different logos of the team. They will also have the word Davis written on the back of these shirts, possibly referring to a player. But they will be famously known for their OG style, rocking the green plaid clothing, and green or black chucks. As the name applies, they will stay in the city of Davis, a poverty ridden city with high crime rate. With Strawberry to the north, Rancho to the east, Chamberlain Hills to the west, and Bannon being south of the city, they are currently allied with the Chamberlain gangsters and Forum Drive families, and rival with gangs like Carson Avenue families, different sets of the Vagos. Los Aztecas, the Eastside Ballas, and formerly the original Covenant Avenue Ballas. The Davis families were on the northwest part of the city, mainly around the Tahitian apartments, but can be seen floating around different parts of Strawberry, including Carson Avenue. Due to the proximity of the territories, they will go to war with the Eastside Ballas, who will run Davis Avenue and Broge Avenue and the original Covenant Avenue Ballas, who will run Covenant Avenue and Grove Street. Members of the Davis Gang would attack the Ballas, firing shots yelling out, Davis Gang bitch, as well as DNFG. Several members of the Ballas set would then fall and die. The Davis Gang would attempt this on the Carson Avenue families, which would lead to a never-ending bloodbath. The Davis neighborhood families are led by Vernon, a gang member known for working with various sets and members of the gangster family car. Vernon is known for being an OG of the set, possibly seeing and growing up during the split and downfall of the Grove Street families, which led to gangs like Carson Avenue families, Chamberlain Gangster families, Forum Drive families, and of course, Davis Neighborhood families. In 2013, members of the families including OG Vernon will go on the hunt for Dr. Dre's Lost Files, which led him to OGP, an original member of the Covenant Avenue Ballas. The families would interrogate OGP, and after this interrogation, he would get information about the Vagos. Knowing that the Vagos are the deepest Hispanic gang in the city, the two black gangs would link up, squashing their beef to take on their Mexican rivals. The Ballas and families would pull up to the Rancho Projects, letting off several shots and killing several Vagos who stole Dr. Dre's unreleased music. This would lead to the Covenant Avenue Ballas and Davis neighborhood families coexisting peacefully within the area. Over the years, the Davis neighborhood families would struggle with members and non-affiliates starting off brand sets of the neighborhood car, which led to them taking on outsiders and other rival gang members. I should have mentioned this earlier in the video, but the ballers can be heard calling the families tramps as a way to disrespect them and their set. I'm not sure if this only goes for the Chamberlain gangsters or the neighborhood families, but I do believe that it goes for all the family sets. And I do think it's worth mentioning that in the Rancho area, you can see a member of the neighborhood families displayed on a billboard, possibly getting a modeling gig. Thank you for your time listening to The War in Los Santos. This is your boy, LS Central. Check in out.